across the threshold where time has awakened, where mountains have been moved and giants speak a forgotten language to our missing ancestry, hidden within a book written upon the very face of earth, a true mystery in history, revealing only truth. So to those who have followed the ancient echoed whispers while holding Pytoth's hand as we tumble through the timeless rabbit hole. Welcome all, welcome past, present and future. To understand our hidden history, to see the truth, we must look through the mythical eye of Horus, a journey following the quest of our guide, a mysterious figure who was a true giant lost in time, a time from the future, a time forgotten in the past, a time remembered in the present, a timeless ruler with the knowledge of all ages, a monolithic solo man, solo man, solo man, solo man. Earth, the third planet from its sun, in a relatively obscure location within the universe. What makes Earth an interesting observation is its inhabitants. This planet harbors an intelligent species, able to create technology, and have done so in leaps and bounds, according to their recorded existence. But is there something more, something missing, or hidden? This world is not the world you have learned in school books. This world is a mystery in history. Ancient oral traditions and myths account for an extremely intelligent civilization, once risen, no longer existing. If these myths and accounts are to be taken seriously, wouldn't we find some type of recorded existence, proving this riddle and explaining the amnesia effect on humanity? If we look to the ancient megalithic monuments and petroglyphs strewn across the earth, does a riddle of history become apparent? The many monuments across the globe closely resemble a common theme of architecture and primordial form. The Suku Temple of India closely resembles the Mayan Temple of Quetzalcoatl, and the Pyramids of China are a reflection of the Giza Pyramids. The Nubian Pyramids reflect the Roman marble pyramid, and the squared pyramids of Teotihuacan's Avenue of the Dead are all of ancient antiquity. These monuments certainly tell a tale of a forgotten hidden knowledge, no longer attained to the Earth's intelligent species. But is there more? According to the history of academia and that which Egypt has sold the world, the Giza pyramids were ego built by three separate pharaohs and have no formal layout and no formal ground plan. Yet, as we witness with the use of the smaller mortuary pyramids as ground markers, aligning them according to their larger pyramid counterpart, there is a definitive Pythagorean principle clearly demonstrated encompassing all nine pyramids.
we're about to witness one of the most mysterious wonders on Earth. It's the largest work of art in the world. So vast, in fact, you can only see it from the sky. And it's even been suggested it was made by aliens. The Nazca Lines, high up on a plateau in Pampas de Humana, Peru. Images carved into the very ground of the Pampas. These pictures are huge, but they're not visible or even apparent from the ground. You have to take to the air in a balloon, plane or helicopter to see these dramatic shapes. They must be some kind of message, but it's a message we can't understand. This extraordinary figure, thought to be an astronaut by some, who is he waving to? What does all this mean? The whole landscape is crisscrossed by puzzlingly straight lines. They go everywhere for mile upon mile upon mile. It's like flying over an airfield. How were these huge designs laid in the landscape up to 2,000 years ago by a people whose history is now lost? Back down to Earth, all over the terrain are reddish boulders, brought here through the action of glaciers thousands and thousands of years ago. The Nazcas move the stones to expose the gypsum underneath, creating a different texture, a different color to the boulder-strewn land around. A simple but brilliant manipulation of the landscape. The lines have survived centuries because Nazca is one of the driest places in the world and its remoteness has saved these fragile works from the destructive tendencies of modern man. But the mystery surrounding these astonishing creations remains. What could they have been for? Why on this vast scale? How could the artists have seen their finished masterpieces? Did the ancient texts not say that their technology was that? They could move mountains. To our standards, an impossible, boastful claim. But a claim also carries a myth of giants. Myths we scoff from fanciful stories of the ancient campfire tales. What if it were true? What if they did move mountains? What if there were giants of technology? And what if there is a hidden vault of prior man's knowledge and accomplishments? For the answers to decode these ancient myths, we must examine a message from the past. A message we know today as the Nazca Lines. A message in the past when created were known as the Great Pyramid Blueprints. Welcome to the world you thought you knew. Welcome to a mystery in history.
To quote Napoleon, history is a set of lies agreed upon, which tells us history itself is its own conspiracy theory. Should there be more than just oral traditions, pyramids, petroglyphs, and speculation? According to the myth of Lemuria, Plato's written submission of the Atlantean society and the biblical canon confirmed by the three major religious organizations telling the existence of the Tower of Babel, an ancient advanced civilization. What if they bestowed a message telling of their prior existence and knowledge. Could such a message exist? And if so, would time and nature's elements erode it, rendering it indecipherable? Where on earth could such a message exist? Did the ancient texts not say that their technology was that? They could move mountains. What if it were true? What if they did move mountains? What if there were giants of technology? And what if there is a hidden vault of prior man's knowledge and accomplishments?
did the ancient texts not say that their technology was that? They could move mountains. To our standards, an impossible boastful claim. For the answers to decode these ancient myths, we must examine a message from the past. A message we know today as the Nazca Lines. A message in the past when created were known as the Great Pyramid Blueprints. Welcome to the world you thought you knew. Welcome to a mystery in history. Everything your eyes read, everything your mind learns, as you awaken from the beginning, was done so that in your heart you may know everything you yourself witness was created just for you, for your eyes only, for undisputed truth, for truly eyes are the windows to the soul. They say that every man woman and child has a story hidden away waiting to be written. Long has this story been written, long has it been waiting to be deciphered, for it was written in a time forgotten, in a time where giants stood before the earth and moving mountains were not myth but established as accomplished feats of fact. A story written for a distant generation an advanced culture, a truly future civilization such as we are now. This is a story of hidden value, and as this story unfolds, possibly the greatest story never told. One that has been hidden in the sands of time, a story of forgotten and hidden history, left in coded messages from a prior global advanced intelligent civilization and bequeathed for our unique understanding. It is a story that holds a special time and place, for its timeline exists in our future, in our past and in our present day. Its place and significance is for a technological advanced civilization in a time for such as the present. Now is that time, and you will have to decide what is truly useful to an open, educated mind as you open a taboo doorway to perceive humanity's history on a different perspective. A chance to realize truth, a chance to be collective with those who came before. Witnessing their history is in fact 
your history, that this story is indeed our story. Our world has wisdom that precedes the ages of the Bible, but it is the world itself that holds the wisdom, for the amnesic humans that reside upon it lack knowledge possessed in earnest and the will to expose it. We the viewers have been elected to view a missing link in our history, a history filled with myths of giants and monuments moved of a book sealed for a distant future technological civilization, a book of wisdom we now know is written in monuments and etched within the wrinkles of mountains and deserts upon our Mother Earth's face. During a speech given at the White House to a group of students by Neil Armstrong in regards to his historic moon landing, part of his speech entailed this wisdom. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of the truth's protective layers. There are many places to go beyond belief. Those challenges are yours. Challenges we accept collectively. If not that we could stand in the presence with the ancients, hoisted upon the shoulders of a true sleeping giant, following where his shadow may lead, we could not look to the future to see what was hidden in our past to better understand today's present. Be we forever so humble to those who made the conscious decision to leave their message stamped in eternity.
There is a book said to be written from days now forgotten. It is a book ordained for the future distant generation. Mother Earth's generation of a status equaling the fabled Tower of Babel. Father Time's technological civilization, that of Atlantean mythology. The cycle of time has elapsed. That distant generation the great book was sealed for belongs to ours. Time is now awake with the breaking of the seals as keys turn unlocking truth. We have come to a time forgotten in the past where a message left for a future intelligent civilization could understand this coded history. As we journey along a now awakened message from the past to discover the key to mankind's lost blueprint of history, a riddle truly hidden in the sands of time. A glorious history, delegating that we finish running down a dream in order that we may hear the ancestors' logical song as we then investigate someone who doesn't monkey around, someone whose pyramid knowledge of Nazca has a grand gallery of explanations so that we may truly understand that which is hidden behind the Eye of Horus.
had just witnessed an ingenious message left in the form of the Great Pyramid Blueprints. A message left by our ancestors. A message left so that in unison we collectively may dream on until the dream comes true. A message written exclusively for you. A message we know today as the Nazca Lines. A message in the past when created were known as the Great Pyramid Blueprints. Atlantis Awake is a provocative new website that doesn't ask the questions but reveals viable answers beyond hypothesis to the long forgotten and hidden mysteries of these enigmatic timeless riddles. A truly interactive website with groundbreaking evidence of a pre-intelligent civilization, which would challenge academia's accepted understanding where the viewers are offered to join the quest to dust off and awaken the lost archaeologist hidden inside yourself, a chance to be collective with those who have come before. Discovering the key to mankind's lost blueprinted history, a riddle hidden in the sands of time. At Nazca, the ancients have invited you personally to join the dots of your present history with those from the past to awaken destiny, leaving a united legacy for the future.